Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Battle 64, the Celtic Show at 2099. And today, I have done a little bit of rearranging. Uh, first and foremost, I rearranged this squad. This is Nana's squad. Nana was a cleric. Now she is a Valkyrie! And now Katrina is the cleric in this squad, and she is the squad leader. So this is now going to be my lawful squad. Well, it always was intended to be my lawful squad, but now it has more a more lawful person at its head. And since all of the units are lawful, it should be gaining uh, in that alignment fairly quickly. Uh, also, this squad, I added Asnabel, I took out the worm, and I put in a sorceress. This sorceress was in this squad, so essentially I took the sorceress out, put it here, changed the cleric to Valkyrie, and put in Katrina. So, essentially, the worm's out. It's out for probably for good and until I get a flying squad at the very least because that would be the only way that I would use a worm is if it's uh, in my flying squad so we have a ninja we have Asnabel the Berserker we have a gremlin because hey why not uh, this replaces a soldier unit uh, we have the wizard and we have the Sorceress. Huzzah. 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 Why does she not do as much damage as he? When... Oh, he has a lot more intelligence than her. He's probably been a wizard for longer than she has. Oh, that's right. This is... Like, is this the wizard we started the game with? Yeah, this is the wizard we started the game with. The game with. So you can see the difference in stats between someone you've been raising since that certain lower level as a wizard and a sorceress that's only recently, relatively recently, become a sorceress and how the stats measure up. See, she has more strength than he does. She has a lot less vitality, she has less mentality, she has one more agility, and she has more dex, but she is 10 points behind the wizard in intelligence, and that uh, leads to a 3 point damage difference, even though she's a level higher. And it's all because we've been raising our wizard since the start of the game, essentially. Uh, I just threw the gremlin in because it's low alignment, and yeah, this squad should be low alignment. That sorceress will be low alignment if it kills me. Uh, yeah, so that's it, I believe. Do I need to do training? Do I want to do training is the bigger question. I could train Helen's unit to level them. Oh yeah, the Doll Master. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, getting a marionette in this last mission allows us to now use Doll Masters. So I just changed the wizard here into a Doll Master, and that took a significant amount of um, moving, shifting units around because you cannot change the class of a squad commander. You can't do it in this game. So since this guy was a wizard and the squad commander, he's pretty much the only one that I want to be a doll master, slash the only one that can be a doll master, or one of very few that can be, I decided that what I would do is I would take out a golem, I shifted over this wizard to here, made him the commander, changed the class, made him the commander again, put the wizard back, then put the golem back in. Whew. Yeah. Big process just to do that. 
Uh, in the back, the Dollmaster is not that great. Uh, Dollmaster is not really designed to be in the middle. But, thinking about damage, the golems in the front, being buffed by the Dollmaster, will do a hell of a lot more damage when they're both in the front than to have one of them in the back while having the Dollmaster in the middle on the side, because that's essentially how it would have to be, is that this one would have to be either here or this this one would have to be here, and the Dollmaster would be in the middle on the opposite side. Um, because these are large units, they take up the space of half of above them slash around them. So they take up the square they're on, plus half the squares of the ones around them. So you can't put a squad here, you can't put someone 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 here. But you can put another large unit here, if you get what I mean. And you can have this set up, but nothing between them and nothing in the middle row. Uh, if I had them... Hey, go back. Go back! Go back, you! If I had them stacked on top of each other, again, you can have nothing in the middle row here. Or the middle column, I should say, this time around. Because the middle row is blocked now. If I had them stacked, it would be the middle column, no matter what side they're on. So this guy would have to be to the opposite side and in the middle. Wouldn't want him in the front, because he does just as much damage in the middle. So anyway, that's what I got for him. I'm not going to bother training. Screw training, and there is thunder. You can probably hear the thunder, can't you? I'm going to save. Dardanelles, the crossroads. Oh, shh! Shit. I didn't want to do that. Stop! Okay. So, I don't want to go to Dardanelles quite yet. I want to do area investigation because there are multiple things for us to do here. We're gonna want to get out Katrina, and we're gonna want to get out Dio in particular. Now, we're gonna want to send Dio to this town, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to want to get out Asnabel. And then we're going to send Katrina to Anakel, which I think is this one. Yeah. Send Katrina there. Then Asnabel goes to Kinsea. That one. And then Magnus <laughs> goes to Burgundy. So, yeah. There's a lot to do after the initial mission here. There is a lot to do after the initial mission here. And I want to know what's in the frickin' marshes. I want to know that. I'll probably look it up eventually. Alright. And it's night. Good. First off, Magnus. Stronghold commands. Enter Stronghold. Damn! <laughs> Because my wife said Indigo, and I'm afraid of her. <laughs> Nag me about my drinking. I ain't, I ain't afraid. <laughs> I'm... Got it! <laughs> okay. Enter Stronghold with Dio! Hey Dio, you're back! We missed you! You're gonna stay at home now, right? No? You're not? You didn't come back to live with us? When are you coming back? I promise I'll never waste money, so please, please... 
Nah, never mind. It looks like you'd like it. We'll be okay. So kick some butt and become a badass knight, okay? Yeah, that's Dio's uh, sibling. Think brother? I think. Brother? Could be wrong about that. It's a little... Um, can't really tell. So, yeah. If that's what you want to do with Dio. Or just have a little uh, side scene. Because that's his hometown. Asnabel! Enter the stronghold. Asnabel. Sir Asnabel, I was hoping to see you again. And who might you be? We were taken prisoners at the Gunther Mine. You helped us survive without your encouragement. We would have lost all hope. I just did what I had to do. Don't make a big deal over it. I'd join you if I could, but I'm no soldier. Soldier? So soldier? Soldier! Please take this. This helmet has been passed down through the history of Alba. I have no use for it. Helm of the Fearless! Big helmet. Huzzah. Now we're gonna have to wait for Katrina to get to her destination. Way the hell ass down here. Um. Oh, this is nice! Power fruit! Awesome. So, waiting particularly for her to get back to there, but also for daytime to arrive. I'm gonna wait till after it hits 10. Because, you know, time actually matters. The flow of time and the date, actually, and like the day of the week, sort of matters for some of the uh, side quest kind of stuff that you can do. So, if you enter during the day. Did you see that drunk? He was a skilled blacksmith, but his wife left him because of his drinking. Where is she? She went back to her parents' home at Senel in Volness. Why do you ask? I don't think it's a good idea to get involved in their problems. It's none of our business, don't you think? Yeah, hit. Go to Senel in Volness. That's what I'll be doing at next. That's what I shall be doing next, folks. It's going there after I get to treat it down here because there's an item I want. Because it'll give us goth. It'll give us plenty of goth. Plenty, plenty, plenty of goth. We've reached the destination. Uh, huzzah. Enter stronghold. We haven't seen you in a while, Katrina. How are you doing? Please don't worry. They're very good to me. That's great. Your brother entrusted me with this. My mother? She asked me to give this to you when you grow up. If you must sell it, it will fetch a good price, but I would try not to. Angel's brooch. Brooch. Whatever. And that is it for here. Return to the world map. So, if we go to the organization screen, we go to the item commands, we go to sell items, and we go to this tab. We have the angel's brooch. It is worth a fair bit of cash, 675 golf. It essentially has no other real purpose than to be sold, because honestly, a plus one to resisting strikes and a plus two to resisting dark is not really gonna be all that gr great, although it is virtue element and it's our first, like, virtue element item. Stop going to the sides, besides rosaries. Um, it doesn't increase any other stats, actual stats, although resisting dark is decent enough, especially when we will be facing dark enemies in the far future. That would be the only reason to keep it. Otherwise, sell it. Give us some money. 
Give me the money! So I have to go back to Bulmus. An area investigate Bulmus. And go to Senal. Senal, 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 Senil, Lenal, 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 uh, then once we get this, we have to go back to Burgundy to talk to the guy again. And then again, to actually buy an item. Okay, I'm here, and what now? Enter the stronghold! Oh, hi. I see. He's causing trouble. I'll give him one last chance. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. Please come to our store when you visit Burgundy. He may be a drunk, but he's skilled at helmet making. Perhaps he's one of the best in the kingdom. I'm sure he can make equipment to satisfy your needs. We'll certainly give you a discount. Oops, I'm sounding like a salesman. <laughs> Back to Burgundy at the Gunther Piedmont. Uh, first, I actually want to see what's in the store. I don't think I ever looked at what's in the Tawak store. I don't think I ever actually looked at this shop. Let's see if there's anything we don't have yet. I think we have at least one of everything. I was saying we could use some more, uh, like, heel leaves and such. Okay, got some heal leaves. Could use some power fruits, but they're expensive. Move to Burgundy. 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 I did not do that. At town, so we can buy a helmet. Buy a special helmet that we will need for a special character class. Okay, I'm here now, what? Okay, okay, alright, enter Stronghold. Oh, thank you again. I think my husband learned his lesson. He quit drinking and devoted himself to his work. Honey, are these people who convinced me to come? Uh, excuse me. Honey, these are the people who convinced me to come back here. You should thank them. Uh, yeah. I don't remember much because I was drunk, but, uh, thanks anyway. He can't even thank you properly. I'm really sorry. It doesn't seem like it, but he really appreciates what you did. He's just so shy. Our store is open year-round from 7 to 7. It's the only place that sells Dragoon helmets, so please come again. Thank you, come again. Is it... Seven, yes, but it's not quite seven yet. Oh, it's you! Welcome! How about our special dragon helmet? The Dragon Helm! They're 260 goth each. Would you like one? Yes. Absolutely, I'd like one. Thank you very much. Please come again. The Quest for the Dragoon! Character class is arduous. One of those ones that takes a long ass time. So I think with that, I'm gonna end things off, folks. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Opie Show about Series 99, and next time on Let's Play Oga Battle 64, we are going to move on to the Dardanelles. I'll pr I may do some training, because we have a little bit more cash now. I think I'll do a little bit of training and uh, try and change some unit classes, make some better units, and then we're going to go off to the Dardanelles. I will see you all then.